Hey there and welcome. My name is Carlos Berlist and let's start talking about what is going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here, unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without cost you anything extra, and all the links they'll be in the description together with some timestamps so it can jump to the point of your preference. First, let's talk about Is Engine by Chris Bissett from Loot the Room. Is Engine is a small pamphlet dungeon for Morkborg. The dungeon is inside the shell of a former titan snail, as it seems that all of them are already dead. Besides the dungeon itself, the pamphlet also presents a table of snail-related body horror transformations, a new monster, and treasures. What I also enjoyed about this project is that a free digital version includes the two plain text options in EPUB and PDF, and if you pay the full price, you can get the full layout version as well. Or you can also try and grab a printed version on Loot the Room. Another release this time comes from RPGC, the Southeast Asia tabletop RPG scene. Something from Your Lover by Maria. It is a collaborative storytelling game around the tales of seven boys who are actually your soulmates from a different life. It is indeed for a short play of one session of around one to four hours and it's very beginner friendly. The idea is to create a story collaboratively that will go through situations that speak of being, becoming and falling in love on different ways and the different consequences that can arise from that. And Latin Breakout, published by Somapad, has now three of its titles available in PDF. You can grab here, there be monsters by Wendy Yu, Cantrip by Misha Panarim, and Brave Zenith by Giuliano Roverato. They have also a great selection of other RPG Latin titles, RPG Latin being the Latin American tabletop RPG scene, and you can check it on So Muppet. More on the games themselves, Here There Be Monsters is a rule light system that puts you on the monster's point of view, instead of the side of the monster hunters that are so common nowadays. You play as a group of odd beings fighting against the ones that you would use you, abuse you, or even annihilate you. Kinda challenging some urban fantasy medias like Hellboy or Men in Black, for example. And the art of it is just... it's amazing. Uh, it's marvelous. Uh, you should check it out. Cantrip is a game about belonging outside belonging, in which you play as young witches attending a magical academy. The witches will grapple with their place in the world, their emotions, relationships, and also the expectations placed on them by, well, by everyone, even themselves. It takes some inspiration from Little Witch Academy, the Owl House, and some high school animes as well. And the other one is Brave Zenith. It is inspired by the Brazilian culture and long summer nights playing GRPGs on a pirated PS1. It has simple interpretative rules focusing on imagination and creativity as you explore its amazing post-fantasy universe. It is unapologetically creative and you play as one of three origins with six different vocations and can have ten unique creatures like the Capimera that is half Capybara, half Jabberwocky. <laughs> so you can see that you have plenty to play with. Another release from this week is A Knife to Your Throat by Takuma Okada. It is a game for two characters who have a complicated history, from past lovers, uh, childhood friends, uh, or whatnot, what you can think about for this. But now you face each other on the battlefield and one of you has to cut the other one down. You, you thought that you wouldn't hesitate, uh, that uh, the betrayal that they had to you was too great, but yet, here you are. And this week was announced the Dice Capital TTRPG Micro Grant Scheme by Dice Capital. It is now open for applications up until the 15th of July, with the successful applicants being notified on the 29th of July. It is available internationally and it will grant three tabletop RPG projects to receive £2,500. The each page provides more information on how to apply guidances for the projects and how to apply and so on. More information you can just check in the each page. It's not where you submit, but it's where there are the informations. So if you have a project that you think that might fit and might benefit from this grant, go and submit it. Try it out. Talking about 
good initiatives. This week was also made available the bundle TTRPGs for reproductive rights. As we mentioned uh, on a previous episode about the jam that was associated with this project and that was responsible for gathering the titles for the bundle itself. The basic motivation behind it is apparently imminent ruling against the decision of Roe vs Wade on the United States, which this ruling is what guarantees the right for abortion there. The proceeds from the bundle will be donated to nonprofits that protect the right of people to choose what happens to their own bodies, such as Planet Parenthood and National Network for of Abortion Funds. The bundle has more than 200 titles that represent more than $1.3 thousand dollars in price, and all made available for as low as five bucks. So it's much greater than 99% of savings. This kind of bundle are always a great thing, at least for me, because you can save money, you can get tons of amazing titles, uh, discover different uh, creators, and the best thing is that you are also contributing to an important cause. So you have, it's not just win-win, it is win-win-win-win-win-win in a lot of levels. So you should check it out. On Gems, there is this week, the Week Sauce Jam of May 2022. You have up until the end of May to submit for this one. It is for you to create something in seven days. But they do not need to be consecutive days. And even if not finished, it is for you to publish it on the end of the seventh day. It is supposed to be a chill jam as even the theme on it is optional and you have more information on the page itself. So check it out if you want to create something or even to get a look to the games that were already submitted or titles in general. And on articles and threads, this great article on sealed library tries to bring to light some pitfalls about licensing on games and mainly on tabletop RPG. It starts clarifying some terminology to help you understand what you are reading about. And it goes in further detail in how to avoid some traps that are present on in some licenses, like ownership, for instance, or finding the damn license as well. And it ends with plenty of interesting links. If you want to read more about the subject and learn more about the concept about licensing of tabletop RPGs, either if you are trying to create games or just to understand why a particular game is or title is released the way that it is in response to another way or another license that is available. Okay, for this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works, you can pay me a coffee on coffee, you can buy my games on HIO. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about the series, because you know how the algorithm plays. And I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!